Hey guys, Frousy here. Um, this is gonna be a different type of video from what I normally post. First, because this is the first time I do this kind of story time type of content, and second, because I actually didn't save the replays from the games for where the story came from. So what you see right now is just an unrated gameplay. So there's that. Also, I think it's good to mention that. In this video, I want to talk about the violent kind of trash talk in Rocket League. Uh, the kind of trash talk that gets like really ugly and really, really intense and gets out of control like very fast. So you don't want to talk it about. Um, also, I think this is a good time to mention that I'm going to mess up a lot my English in this video just because I don't have a script for this. Like this just happened and I wanted to tell you guys this story. And what I'm thinking about, about uh, the toxicity in Rocket League. So I didn't prepare it. It's just here recording and let's just roll with it. Okay. Okay. So I was playing twos. I was solo queuing and I was really rusty. Okay. I, I didn't warm up at all. Didn't have much time either actually. Um, but it was one of those nights where you just want to launch Rocket League and play some games, have some fun and not worry about the training or the grind of that whole stressful part of Rocket League, you know? But you still play ranked because playing with bots in casual is actually super boring. So you end up like playing ranked in a casual way, not caring about winning or losing, sort of like that. So I joined this lobby, this, this 2v2 lobby, and right off the bat, I missed the first kickoff, like <laughs> the first game. I missed the first kickoff, like completely missed it. Like w when you try to do a speed flip and you totally mess it up, completely miss the ball. And when I missed that kickoff, my teammate goes in chat, wow, 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 right? <laughs> like three times in a row, like he never missed a kickoff in his life. So right off the bat, he gets mad by that mistake, but you know, not a big deal, we move on. So the game goes on and I'm very sloppy, I'm, I miss the ball, I'm playing bad, I, I'm bumping him on my way back almost every time. All the good stuff that happens when you don't warm up before ranked. So half into the game, we were losing three nothing, I'm playing bad, most of the goals were my fault by the way. I know my, my teammate still said it was his turn to go to kickoff and I just knew he wasn't gonna go. Like, I've seen it so many times that I can just predict when it's going to happen next. You know what I mean? When your teammate is so tilted that you know that he's not going to kick off because he's going to start typing next. And that is, of course, just what happens. Uh, he starts typing. And the funny thing is that it started calm and actually making good points about my playstyle because I was actually playing pretty bad but i think he got mad as he was typing so 20 seconds later it was just like pure insults and slurs and violence and like nonsense just blah you know it got really ugly really really fast like um i was still playing by the way i chose the route of non-violence like i always do trying not to react to anything he was saying just like let him do his thing you know and the crazy thing is that i managed to score two goals on my own while he's trash talking to me so I think that actually motivated him to stop writing and actually start playing. He didn't say anything else after that, like not even a quick chat. And we kept playing and with one minute left, we were winning by one. Now this is where it gets interesting. For whatever reason, my teammate starts to play really bad, like just awful, like worse than me when game started, like just making one mistake after another, he's rotating near post almost every time and actually bumps me on his way back twice and both times we get scored. So <laughs> we lost that game, <laughs> imagine, right? And after we lose, he stays on the lobby, I stay on the lobby, he's in silence, I'm in silence and believe me guys, I really wanted to say something. Like, I was truly upset. This dude talked so much when I was playing bad that the least he deserved was some of it back. Like, just, just some of it, you know? But I said nothing, okay? And I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I wasn't always like that, okay? I mean, I played other games before and I wasn't really good at keeping my chill. Like back in the day. There's actually there's actually a video Siebel made a while ago where he recreated toxic stories from other players and I am in that video. And I told him, and this is true, 
I broke my laptop once playing World of Warcraft. Like I just punched it and the laptop like went black and just, I just broke it because I was so tilted. And when I first started playing Rocket League, I quit playing for like a year just because of the constant toxicity and my way of handling back then, which was not good. But I've grown a lot since then, you know? I'm like way more chill right now. And I realize it doesn't really matter what my teammates say to me when I'm playing bad. And more important, if I trust talk or get mad when they're playing bad, it doesn't really help either. You know, th th that's what I realize. It's not like they're gonna go, oh yes, now you're insulting me. I suddenly know how to hit the ball. It, it doesn't work like that, you know? People don't work like that. You can't just hurt someone with your words and expect them to do things your way. We really need to be more caring and tolerant with each other, you know? Because the truth is, you never know what kind of damage- Are you f kidding me, man? Have you ever heard of Buckfoss f rotation? Seriously, are you blind or just f***ing Please, just do me a favor and uninstall the f***ing game. Seriously, just f***ing leave, man. Just f***ing leave. Nobody wants you here. You're f***ing it up for everybody. For real, man. Do you know what it's like to try and make a pass to you? It's like handing the ball to a f***ing monkey. And then they make me f***ing start on your defense. Like, what the f***? Aaron, your f***ing mom playing for you when she's getting choked with two f***ing... <laughs> perfect, perfect. Oh, that was good. That was good because th that is totally something that a platter would do on ranked. Oh, what a, what a, what a shot. <laughs> I did the thing where I was just <laughs> typing off of it, typing perfect. instead of going for the, <laughs> the kickoff. That's perfect. It's just perfect. How was that? <laughs> Just come and fly it in for no reason. Oh yeah, we gotta we gotta get it close again. All right, I gotta I gotta play secretly good for a second. Nice shot. Thank you. <laughs> oh, perfect. That's perfect. Ties okay, now we gotta hold the score. That works. Got three. Right, I'm gonna come and bump you. Oh crap. Okay, you can come through right. There we go. Oh no. 